I promise you that this is not sponsored content. Hi, I'm Caribbean Andy. I want to show you easy ways to make better cocktails at home and talk a little bit about my bartending experience on the way. Check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and well, hey, let's see what I'm going to make today. All right, so today uh, it is uh, sometime in January. I'm not sure, but I thought it would be fun because uh, I know a lot of people like to cool it down after the holidays or uh, try and be a whole different kind of person for the new year and uh, just, you know, do some version of dry January or give up drinking. And uh, I've done this myself before. Something that's super different now, though, is that there's a lot of great uh, cocktail geared products as well as fantastic non-alcoholic beers on the market uh, so that you can enjoy having a beer or having a nice cocktail without um, drinking. Well, you have to, I mean, you still, drinking, we say drinking to mean uh, alcohol, but also water. Anyway, uh, I have this. <laughs> this is uh, this is a product that I actually gave as a Christmas gift as well, but it's Monday Zero Alcohol Gin. And again, they are not paying me anything for this. I thought it would just be fun to play around with. It's... Got all the botanicals of gin. Uh, it, it's uh, got a bit of more viscosity than just straight water. It's lightly sweetened. Uh, it's Oh, it's using monk fruit extract. So it's naturally sweetened, natural flavors. I also think the label is really cool. I'm trying it just on its own. Uh, I would probably never just have a sip of gin, but... Oh. Oh, it's funny. I don't know exactly how they do it or the science behind it, but they do make it burn a little bit. Like it tastes like, it feels like drinking alcohol. It smells a little bit like, um, it smells like the wa what I imagine the water smells like at the base of your Christmas tree. Very piney, lots of juniper, but also citrus for sure. But I would never drink gin like that. Uh, on its own, and I don't think that's how they intend this product to be used, so let's go ahead and make a cocktail with it. Uh, and I thought we'd do the most basic, one of the most basic gin cocktails that are out there. Uh, if you're somebody who watches cocktail videos on YouTube, or is a friend of mine, or a, a human in America on Earth, you've probably heard of a Tom Collins before. Uh, Tom Collins is gin, lemon, simple syrup, uh, club soda. It's a cocktail that goes all the way back, way before Prohibition. It's in Jerry Thomas's How to Make Drinks. Uh, that actually doesn't call for club soda, um, but uh, just simply gin, lemon, simple syrup. We're going to use our Monday gin uh, and, uh, and whip up a Tom Collins real quick. If you don't care about having something with no alcohol in it, you can follow the same recipe and use a regular gin. Uh, that's the idea. And in fact... Um, I probably should have done a back-to-back -back comparison, but who cares? Anyway, so we're going to start uh, with our Monday gin. We're going to do a two-ounce pour of our Monday gin. Uh, and like I said, there are a few of these out there, but this one, first, uh, you know, it was I'm a sucker for marketing, and I like the way this looked the most. Uh, and I just, I don't know, something about the pitch of the product... Well, I just believed them that it was good. Two ounces of gin. And then we'll do three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Three quarters of an ounce. No, heck, let's do a whole ounce of lemon juice. Uh, you could honestly build a Tom Collins right in the glass as well, but... Uh, I'm just accustomed to shaking anything with citrus in it, so that's what I'm going to do. Plus, it's more fun to watch these videos if I'm shaking something. I think. Ice. 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 Uh, rumor has it this cocktail was created by a guy named John Collins, uh, that it was renamed Tom Collins because it used Old Tom Gin. I've talked about Old Tom Gin in other videos, Go figure that out for yourself if you're curious. And uh, who knows if that story is true or not. 
I did check the Jerry Thomas book and uh, the recipe is first listed. Oh no, I'm just gonna cut that out. The recipe is first listed in the Jerry Thomas book as a whiskey Tom Collins and then brandy and gin follow the same recipe. Does that make sense? Are you following here? Cool. Great. Okay. That's full of ice. Put that back. Put that back because we want to be neat. And then give this a nice shake. Mixed and diluted. Chilled and frothy. Uh, don't, no need to double strain this. You can if you want. Hope I don't spill it. There's that. And then we'll just go ahead and pour our club soda right on top. This is a pretty big Collins glass. Uh, that was a little over two ounces of club soda. It's not quite gonna fill it. I'll probably put some fake cocktail in here and make it look nicer to take a picture. Um, and then the first time I ever had a Tom Collins, it had cherry in it, so let's do that. And uh, I'm gonna put some orange peel on it because, well, I can do whatever I want. That's really not very full at all. But you get the idea. This is the cocktail. And our goal here is to see if it tastes like a real cocktail. It does. Wow. That actually makes a pretty nice Tom Collins. Yeah, I mean, I'd say... I don't know if I was someone who, I don't know that I want to ever drink a cocktail without alcohol in it quite like this. Uh, usually if there's no boost, I like just a simple sparkling water, maybe throw a little bitters in there. But I think this is definitely fun for parties, definitely fun to like have for guests coming over who maybe don't drink. Uh, or um, I don't know, this might be like a fun little herbal addition to your regular La Croix at the end of the night. It is pricey though. Uh, this is $40, which I think, maybe it's 30. Regardless, uh, for something without alcohol in it, it is um, more money than I would typically spend on a gin. So uh, do keep that in mind. This will look nice in your home. And uh, I think it's, you know, a fun talking point. Don't freeze it. No refrigeration needed. Enjoy within six months, it does say. Uh, so that's it. That's Monday Gin. I don't know if I was rating this out of five stars, I'd probably give it three and a half. It being the first non-alcoholic spirit I've ever tried. Well, that's all I got. Um, come back next time and I'll make a cocktail with alcohol in it. Or maybe I won't. I don't know yet. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button, thumbs up, right down below. It's helpful, I, I you don't have to, but I appreciate it. All right, ah, uh, bye. This is good. It's oddly cloudy. Those glasses, fingerprints all over it. Get that out of the shop.